For a number of years, one of the defining features of Odomex has been how smooth the game could play for somebody on a bad connection. In the fourth preview of Odomex.6, Lose the Lag, we take a look at the changes and additions that should further improve the game in spite of poor networking conditions. If you've spent years playing games online, you're well aware of the effect that lag can have on all players, regardless of their connection quality. For instance, when a particular player has a sudden spike in their latency, other players might see that player warp large distances without moving between positions. In Odomax.6, server administrators have access to the SV tick buffer variable, an option that buffers the player's movement and smoothly moves the player about. This prevents the appearance of other players warping, as well as ensuring that unlagged latency compensation is accurate, even under the worst conditions. In many multiplayer first-person shooters, collision with other actors can be a serious problem. If your player collides with another player, your view will often be snapped to a new position instantly. This sudden jerk can be very disorienting and frustrating, especially on a high latency connection. Odomax.6 handles this problem by gradually moving your player to the new position, making collisions with other players and missiles silky smooth. In what should be exciting for those who often play overseas, Odomax.6 introduces the option to interpolate player positions to ensure opponents move perfectly smooth, even when your own connection experiences lag spikes or drop packets. The client can adjust how much Odomax will interpolate, even choosing to disable it if they prefer the way Odomax currently feels. Of course, interpolation is not the only addition to this area in Odomax.6. If your connection doesn't receive updates for a while due to sudden lag spikes, Odomex can extrapolate player positions. What this means is that Odomex will predict the position of players and smoothly correct them if the prediction was incorrect. Thanks to these changes, many players may not even notice lag, even with a problematic connection. All of these new improvements, in addition with the options currently in Odomex to control bandwidth usage and unlag compensation, should solidify Odomex's netcode as the standard in multiplayer Doom. Make sure to check back next Monday for another preview of how Odomex.6 will further redefine what you should expect out of your engine of choice and pave the way for the resurrection of Doom Multiplayer.